Hey bros, if you're checking to see if you got a shout out, then watch the video almost all the way to the end because that's where the shout outs are. What's up guys, Umarex sent us this Legends Thompson M1A1 for free and we're gonna check it out. So the Legends series is a series made by Umarex of a bunch of old guns and iconic and classic guns. This is one of them the Thompson M1A1 or the Tommy gun. The Tommy gun, as you know, it, it has, is the one with the big drum magazine used by the gangsters. This is like the one used in World War II by the US Army. The main visual difference between this one and the classic Tommy gun is this one has a stick magazine. This is a submachine gun, and this is a BB gun version of it. The Legends series is all BB guns, so you can see it here. The receivers and pretty much everything in black is full metal, so it's heavy, realistic, and nice. The fake wood is plastic though, um, although it's still cool. We have a sling mount up here and a sling mount back here. We have iron sights here. How this works is with the magazine here, you unscrew this Allen key and load two CO2 cartridges in and then tighten it to pierce the CO2 canister. And then uh, you pull this follower back here and load your BBs in through this hole. And then all you do is load the magazine into the gun. On the right side of the gun, there should be a charging handle, which you should be able to cock. And then you can fire. The safety and selector switch are both on the left side of the gun. On, on the back switch, here's the safety. So I cannot pull the trigger. And then if I push it forward into fire, I can shoot it. And then this switch right here, uh, backwards is for semi, and forwards is for full auto. So this is the magazine release here. You just press up to remove the magazine. So if I have the magazine in here, and I need to take it out, I just press up and pull the magazine out like that. All right, let's load in some CO2. So I have my on key and I just unscrew this. So you're gonna have this one. With the first one has the head facing up, so you just, and the second one has the head facing the bottom. And then you just attach this back. And then we're gonna tighten it. I'm just gonna test. Three, two, one. That's cool. Let's do another test. That's cool. All right, let's load up some BBs. So I take the follower and pull it all the way back. And then I just load the BBs in. There we go. All right, let's go shoot it. All right, guys, I'm gonna be chronoing it now. The BBs I'm using are 4.5 millimeters wide and weigh 0.3 grams. So, let's try it out. First, I'm gonna do one headshot. 435, 430, 423, 422, 420, 418. All right, I'd say this shoots about 420 FPS. So one thing interesting about this gun is it's an open bolt gun. So most guns are closed bolt nowadays, and what that means is the bolt is closed, and when you shoot it, it opens, ejects a shell, and closes. This is an open bolt gun, so the bolt is normally open. And whenever you fire it, the bolt closes and shoots while it's closed and then opens. So you can see while I'm not firing, the bolt stays open. So I'm about 25 feet away and I'm going to be doing an accuracy test. So that looks pretty good. I was shooting pretty fast, so I wasn't really taking my time, and it was still pretty good. All of them are in this little red circle here. Some of them are a little down to the right, but that's probably me and not the gun. So I think that's good. 
So I have about half of my mag left, and I'm just going to shoot whatever I have left on full auto with an accuracy test. So that looks almost about as good as the semi. I see that's pretty good. So here's how it feels shooting. So first I'll type out the trigger. The trigger pull is kind of long, um, but it's okay. There isn't very much kick on semi, you can't really feel anything. However, even though there isn't very much on full auto, you can definitely feel it because it's like hitting your shoulder a lot. It isn't very powerful, it's just the rate of fire is so fast you can definitely feel it on full auto. I definitely do like the sights. At first when I picked this up, I thought I wasn't really going to like these sights. But I actually really like aiming with these sights. It's really easy to aim with them, and it's really easy to keep your aim. Especially on full auto, these sights definitely I do like a lot. So let's shoot some animal targets. We're going to be mixing in some footage from the aim cam, so you can kind of get a first person perspective. This footage was captured from a GoPro on Dee's head. So here are my final thoughts. Overall, I think this is a really awesome gun. First of all, this is a lot more accurate than I thought it was going to be. In fact, it was super accurate. These sights are super cool. They're super great. Even the little small targets were really easy to hit. I love the sights this thing has. The full auto on this is super fun to shoot, feeling the recoil and everything. Overall, this is just a really fun gun. Alright guys, it's shout out time. The first shout out goes to Kickstart TV. The next shout out goes to Leticia Jimenez. The next shout out goes to Bill Bob. The next shout out goes to Quinlan Garcia. The next shout out goes to Febrion Satrio. The next shout out goes to Opacity Chris. The next shout out goes to Nikki Newingham. The next shout out goes to Richard Albanco. The next shout out goes to Heather Grambart. The next shout out goes to Ryan Topper. The next shout out goes to Lucas Borge. The next shout out goes to Charlotte Chen. The next shout out goes to It's Chi. The next shout out goes to Unlimited Zen. The next shout out goes to a Kif Cyber 151. The next shout out goes to Brux Kinshin. The next shout out goes to Lil Seven. The next shout out goes to Mimic Amir. The next shout out goes to Memphis Macias. The next shout out goes to Broken 067 Hearted. The next shout out goes to Epic Nerf 14. The next shout out goes to Sea Waffle. The next shout out goes to Jai Bruton. The next shout out goes to Jemond Burt. The next shout out goes to Tate Kirschbaum. The next shout out goes to Amir Lachman. The next shout out goes to Destroy Cobble 5000. 
The next shout out goes to Zach Gaming. The next shout out goes to Carter McNeil. The next shout out goes to Theo Carter. The next shout out goes to Orange Donkey. The next shout out goes to Hunter Eisenhart. The next shout out goes to Michael 997H. The next shout out goes to Huffs Nosh. The next shout out goes to Angelica DePaul. The next shout out goes to X Projects. The next shout out goes to West Golf 12. The next shout out goes to Silver Curve YT. The next shout out goes to Amiel. The next shout out goes to Elite Shepherd. The next shout out goes to Rags. The next shout out goes to 3D. The next shout out goes to Gas Man. The next shout out goes to James Brown Jr. The next shout out goes to Paul Guest. The next shout out goes to Jomper. The next shout out goes to Dory Martinez. Bros, if you want a shout out, then go to the community tab on our channel and go to the most recent post and type, I want a shout out. If you like this video, be sure to share it with your friends and hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Be happy. Peace out.